Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. This is uh, episode 4, I believe, yeah, episode 4. Uh, in the last one, we, we did finally figure out how to use the magnetic separator uh, to finally get our, our magnetite going so we can upgrade our blacksmith. Uh, this episode, I know I said this before, we're, we are actually going to get to the double mobile wash plant. Uh, we already have $71,000 and 30 ounces of gold, uh, so we could actually probably, we could probably even do it right now, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to dig through uh, 10 more buckets, get a little bit more gold, and then we'll head to town and we'll pick up everything we need to do this, uh, to do the mobile wash plant setup that I've been promising you guys for like four episodes now, and uh, we'll finally get it going. But uh, first, I got to, I'm going to move a little bit because I am running out of room here. So uh, let me get everything moved and then we'll, uh, we'll start digging. Okay, so we got ourselves all moved around here. I uh, just moved the excavator back a little bit. So now we can dig this area and not worry about falling in the hole, except for our wash plant, which hopefully this hangs on for just a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. Turn the light on. It's a little bit dark right now. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you hang in there. Let's go ahead and turn everything on now. Turn on our water pump and turn on our generator. There we go. Turn on our wash plant. We're turn the lights on. All right, so just like before, what I'm doing is I'm going to work on this top layer of dirt so we can see a little bit better. For one, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, uh, we're kind of down in like a little valley here. We're actually level with the wash plant now instead of being a little bit above it. Uh, so it just makes it a little bit harder to load and everything. So we'll just try and get all this out of the way so we can see. So this is a pretty good example right here of why... I want to do two wash plants. I can actually, if you watch, uh, if I were to go kind of full speed here and not, not slow down or not take a break, I can actually be faster than this wash plant. See, now I get a warning that I'm losing pay dirt because it's already full and I'm just dumping it out. So I basically have to like load one, go over here, and then sit and wait until uh, that number gets down to about 75%, and then I can dump another bucket and see it takes me back up to like 97. So with two, uh, and the large excavator, I can just keep going basically one and then oops, see I'm gonna I almost did it again. I can just keep going one after the other. I don't have to don't have to, that downtime in between scoops or anything like that. So just another reason why it's much better. All right, we got another day summary for day three. Uh, still no workers, so didn't pay them anything. Process 339 uh, cubic yards or feet. Still don't know. Uh, we earned 43 ounces of gold, but we had to pay 13 ounces of that to our claim owner. So, not bad. We are slowly moving up. Uh, we're making more, but we're paying a little bit more. But that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna be making a lot here real soon. And the good thing is, we still don't owe any money to the bank. Like, yeah, we could have done this uh, a lot faster and already had two two wash plants and the big excavator and all that stuff. But we would have been paying a shitload of money to the bank in interest and in, in just paying back a loan. So this way, we're not going to owe them any money when we get into this. All right, guys. Uh, so we managed to not dig our wash plant into the hole. It's very close. That's all right, because we're moving it after this. We got our buckets full. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and run them through our magnetic separator, which we finally figured out last episode. And then we will run the, the gold dirt through the wave table, and it will give us our gold and the dirt bucket goes into the uh the magnetite trailer which we then take to the magnetite plant so let me get some cables switched around here and we'll run this all right now that we have run all of our pay dirt through the uh magnetic separator we're gonna go ahead and run the yeah that's what i wanted to do stupid stupid table i'm just kidding i love you Okay, uh, so we have all of our clean buckets, uh, we'll call them, because they have been separated from the magnetite, and then we will run them, those buckets, through the wave table and get our gold from them. Let's go ahead and run all these. Alright, so our wave table has now processed all of our dirt. We got almost 20 ounces out of, uh, let me shut this thing off. Super loud. Uh, so we got 20 ounces out of only... 
seven buckets because I had ten, uh, two were here, and I almost ran out of fuel in my excavator, so I stopped digging and only filled up uh, seven of them. So 20 ounces out of seven buckets is actually really, really good. Um, the other thing we need to do is we're going to take our dirt bucket, uh, this one right here, and you'll see it says it's only 5% full, but I like to empty it every time. Probably don't have to. And we're going to dump that right in our magnetite trailer. And we get only 1%, which is fine, because 1% in that trailer is actually quite a bit. So, now what we're going to do is we have almost 50 ounces plus $70,000. We can definitely get our, uh, our larger excavator and our second mobile wash plant. So, we're going to head to town, smelt this gold, and buy our next, not next, our other wash plant that I've been talking about for so long. All right, and on my way in, I noticed that there was a letter here somewhere, so we might as well grab that for this uh, this episode, right? Let's see if we can find this stupid thing. Oh, here it is, right in this pile of sticks uh, right next to the magnetite plant. Right there. All right. Oh, look at this. They put little pumpkins here for Halloween. There's one there, and there's one over here. The little things guys it's the little things all right so we can only do 20 ounces at a time remember so we're gonna smelt that are you sure you want to smelt that or yeah, okay hello all right there's one bar done let's go ahead and we're just, we're just gonna do two so we'll do 40 ounces basically and that uh our first bar okay right we'll leave us with nine ounces oh yeah a little bit of spending money spending money a little bit of extra gold i'm just not gonna Put that in the video. All right, we got our second bar. We're gonna head back to the bank because we love the bank, and we're gonna sell our gold. All right, let's sell some gold. Let's just check real quick. Oh, look, so we're finally selling when it's at a high point, like the first time. Sell that one and sell that one. All right, so we got a hundred eleven thousand. We said we would need about a hundred grand. I think we're good, guys. Let's uh, we're gonna go buy some stuff. We're gonna do a little shopping trip here. All right, we're gonna grab some spares and stuff too while we're in here. But first of all, head over here. We're gonna grab another mobile wash plant. So grab one of those. All right, we're also gonna do. We're gonna grab another gen. Uh, show you guys why here in a second. Then two more blue hoses, and we're gonna grab one of these splitters. Uh, sorry, I had an itch. Uh, where's the power splitter? Right there. Oh, that's the water splitter. Where is the power splitter? Right there. So this is cool. What we can do is we can plug one big blue hose in here and we can do four output hoses. And I'll show you why we're going to do that. We're actually going to buy... Look, at, there's another pumpkin. Pumpkins all over the place. Um, we're going to buy a couple of these work lights. And this is just going to make it, for one, easier for you guys to see. Uh, and easier for me to see, you know. So I'm, I'm the important one here. Um... We're also going to need two more small ones for the lights. And, oh, we also need, so we're going to have to split the water now. We're going to do the water splitter. This does the same thing as the uh, the power splitter. We can plug one big hose. So we're going to need another big hose. One big hose. We can plug this big hose into there and then, oh, we'll grab another one of these just in case. And then plug that into the, uh, the wash plant and everything. So. I think that's all we need for right now. I'm going to grab some more buckets since we're going to be running two plants. So I think we'll just max out buckets, however many buckets we can. We only get five because of how many spots we have. Check out. 8,500 bucks. All right, let's load this bad boy up. All right, I think I got it all in there. This one took a little bit of finesse. These lights are stupid to load. They really piss me off every time. I'll say it. I'm going to say it. But they're going to make it so much easier for us to dig. Alright, we got our wash plant. We got all our crap. Let's go buy our excavator. I don't know why I just look left and right like there's people driving. Alright, one big excavator. 82,000. Spend me to make money, right? Go ahead and check out. 
All right, so the one thing we do have to do is we can only have one uh, large piece of equipment or heavy equipment on the claim at a time until we upgrade, and it costs $50,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move this one uh, back into storage, and then we're going to move the big excavator to old Arnold. That costs us $3,000 to do. All right, let's get back to the claim and get this stuff set up. I keep seeing these little pumpkins everywhere, and they're just cracking me up every time I see one. They hit them like behind the rocks and in random weird places. It's kind of funny. Yep, I meant to do that. I meant to. How many of you guys can say you fishtail to wash plant? I don't think many. But add me to that list. Pitch. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of take a look here and see what our best plan is. I'm thinking we put both wash plants down in this little this little valley. We can dig all of this then. Then we can actually move to that side and dig all of that. So I think we're going to put one one here and one there. And i got to fix all this because as soon as I hopped out, my truck decided to empty itself. How did you, how did you get in there? Where? This game's perfect, you guys. Alright, so we brought our water separator, or water splitter. So we're gonna hook this up and then we're gonna hook this up to the output on on the, the actual water pump. And then one hose will go to this wash plant. To the separator. The other hose, which is over here, this goes from this separator to the other wash plant. Just like so. Alright. Let's get some power to these things. Generator. Power. That same generator. The other plant. So now we have one generator powering both plants. And we can also uh, power one of our... Power all uh, this stuff with it too. Alright, this, this generator will be for our lights later. So we'll leave that one there. Along with this splitter. We have the cables in the truck. We don't need this right now. Oh yeah, we will. We will, we will. Just knocking everything over. Alright, let's get some buckets in these guys. Bucket for you. A bucket for you. All right, I'm gonna grab the excavator and get it over here. All right, there's the big boy now. Now we can dig deeper, dig more buckets. They look pretty much identical inside. I don't know what I would expect there to be much different. Uh, let's get this thing over there. Let's see how she looks. Very nice. Try not to run over my truck on the way there. All right, I th think I am pretty happy with this to start with, so we'll be able to dig. We'll dig this whole area. We'll dig down there, and then we can move. We can move back. We can get all of that, and then we can actually move over there and get all of that before we even have to move again. And we'll probably start going back that way, I'm thinking, when we're done. I don't know what <laughs> happened here. Apparently all my stuff left my truck. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... I'm going to go ahead and refuel everything, and then uh, I'm going to start digging and show you guys what this is about. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, I was hoping they would let us do that. Alright, so I think we got everything fueled up. Uh, we got our plants set up and everything. Let's, uh, let's test this out. Do a little bit of digging real quick. 
that real quick, but gotta fire everything up. Oops. Check out this bad boy. Oh yeah. Just feel phenomenal cosmic power. These big ass buckets we can take now. So much more dirt. And I believe I just missed all of that. Let's try another one. There we go. Look at that. One bucket fills it up almost halfway. Let's go outside real quick. We're just going to load these one and then dump a bunch on the ground. One and then the other. Look at this. We can take so much deeper now. We can take so much faster. Like that downtime we talked about a little bit ago. We have to wait for one. There's none of that now. Look at that. 3% and we'll put another one in. So this is how we're going to get... We're going to get our money. We're going to get our gold. And then we're going to have enough money to buy the tier 3 wash plant. The big wash plant. And we're going to get a dump truck. And uh, I'd like to get the drill because I've never, I've never actually used the drill. But we're still doing about the same amount of digging, uh, you know, bucket per bucket per bucket, I guess you would say. But we're actually filling two buckets now instead of one. Because before, you know, we're doing one bucket, we fill, jump out, do that. Now we're gonna jump out. We're gonna have two buckets ready instead of just one. Ah, crap! Well, we found a big nugget, and then. My mobile wash plant jets were destroyed. Alright, so we gotta get this fixed up. Uh, yeah, we broke our spray bar right here. Luckily, we bought one uh, when we were in town, so we're just gonna go grab that real quick. And I'm not gonna walk. Alright, let's grab our spray bar real quick. Where did we put it? Right here. Alright, so now when we go back into town for anything else, we'll grab another one of these and we'll replace, uh, replace our stock with it. Down there. I really like that they added the repairs. It just gives another, uh, you know, key element to the game, I guess. Instead of just digging all day, you actually have to take time out and fix some things. and just breaks it up a little bit. Alright. Take this bad boy over. Alright, so to do this, we need our crescent wrench, monkey wrench, crescent wrench, however you, whatever you guys want to call it. Take this off. Grab the old one. Put on the new one. And tighten this back down. Alright, just like that, we are ready to mine again. We're just going to throw this on our truck, so we'll take it back over there. Whenever we're done. Alright, and let's go ahead. We're going to fire everything back up. We're going to do some more digging. And everything else is broken here. Did I just replace the wrong one? I did. Alright, now, now that we've fixed the right one, we're going to throw the actual bad one in the back of the truck. And now everything's working. Alright, let's fire everything back up and get back to digging. Alright, so now both of our buckets should be full. Go ahead and take this. Probably move that stuff closer, which I might just do. Yeah, I think after this clean out, we'll move those all closer so we're not running them all the way over there. Put them right next to the wash plant. Alright, and we have almost dug ourselves into a hole again. But we're gonna move. This out of the way. 
I think we're just gonna put ourselves up on this hill a little more. Check our uh, our dump. Let's see, that might be. I don't know. We're good there. All right. Start digging. All right. Got two more already. I hate when all this stuff's a mess like this. Come on. Probably take some time to organize everything after this round of buckets. I just wanted to try and get this up for you guys. You can see how much better this is. And, uh, kind of got sloppy a little bit. Whoa! Alright, see? Alright, so we got a 12 ounce nugget right there. And that's further down than we've been and further towards the center than we've been. So. Just maybe, the further in and the deeper we go, we're going to find some bigger, better nuggets. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut this one down. Because we only have one bucket left, so there's no point in having two plants running. Don't roll away. Uh, the other one, we're going to try to fuel up, or fuel up, fill up real quick. I do need fuel actually too though. Please don't, please don't. Oh, hello? Yes, can? There you go. Alright, my excavator was low on fuel too, but I'm hoping we can get this last bucket full. Let's see how low it is. Yeah, I think we I think we can get that bucket full. Oh, you know what though? I need to move. I'm Yep, I just love to do this to myself. Oh shit. No 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 no. Alright, hold on. Get this out of the way. And backward. What I like to do, I want to pull this way a little bit. And, nope, 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 nope. All right, let's try this. See what this is like. This will be good. All right, so here I can kind of show why the big one doesn't work with. With, with a single mobile wash plant. So look, if I'm digging, if I'm digging real quick like this, three buckets and it's already full. So it is good if you're doing like fur further away from your excavator and you have all the the time in between buckets. But look, now I have to wait like a full bucket with the big excavator. It's almost 50%. So you, you're going to be waiting a while, actually. All right, we got our day summary for day four. Uh, still don't have any workers. So we're not paying them anything. We processed f almost 500 cubic foot yards. We're just going to say foot yards from now on because I don't know. Uh, we earned almost 20 ounces and we only paid 6. So we're 14 ounces of profit. But I overfilled it because it takes forever. So yeah, with, with a big excavator, which you need anyway, once you get your other wash plants and stuff, and two mobile wash plants, um, you got a pretty good setup going on. You can do. We'll count our buckets over there. I forget how many I had, but... Whatever I filled up, I filled them up in about the same time that it would take to fill up uh, one round of buckets, or uh, half the buckets, with one mobile wash plant. So in the end, we should get twice as much gold in the same amount of time. I mean, I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Ugh. Gotta watch that stupid percentage. But I guess one thing to also keep in mind is... Um, Digging, doing it with the two wash plants like I was, you kind of have to be a little bit semi-proficient with the excavator. Uh, not that I'm a pro or anything. Yeah, see, I'm just wasting dirt anyway. Um, so if you know, if you struggle a little bit with the excavator, still, you could you can run the big excavator and just use one plant, and you'll have a lot more time uh, in between your buckets that you're not you're not racing back and forth. Not that it's bad; you don't lose gold, but you just burn a little bit more fuel and. Um, Kind of just waste time, and I just cannot get the timing down on this. I gotta wait till 50%. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. See, so you got that one. Okay, so yeah, 50% is the magic number with this. All right, I think one more scoop will do it. Go ahead and dump this one in. We'll shut everything down, and then we're gonna we're gonna clean this stuff up. Actually, we can probably do it without even. Yeah, we're gonna dump this in anyway, just so it's full for the next one. All right, but let's turn off our lights. Turn off our excavator and hop out. We are at 100%. Let's shut you down. Grab our bucket. Grab our... Get out of the way. 
All right, so in that time, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 buckets. Um, and we have dug quite the hole, which is nice. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to run these through the separator first, uh, grab our, get our magnetite, and then we're going to process it on the wave table and see what we end up with. All right, and that's our last bucket for the magnetic separator. So I'm going to get these hoses switched around real quick, and then we'll run it through the wave table. That's a bucket. Through the wave table, and uh, see how much gold we actually got. All right, we're all hooked up. Let's start running this. All right, guys, that's our last bucket. Uh, I'm ready for this to finish here. It looks like we're going to get about 40 ounces with the, out of this one, maybe? Maybe... 30? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention too much. Let's see. 35 and a half ounces all right, out of one clean out, which comes out to about 40 or $50,000, uh, depending on what the gold price is. So let's go ahead. We're going to dump our mag bucket. So this is, let's see, we've got 9% magnetite and we're at 1% in the trailer. Let's see how much almost 10% gets us. Almost nothing. So, pff, wow. I don't know if that's bugged or if it if it really is. I mean, I know it's a big trailer and it's one bucket, so maybe like 100% in a bucket is 10% in the trailer somewhere in there. Maybe we'll we'll run a test on that. We'll fill the bucket up to 10% uh, and see see where that gets us. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I know this this might be a long one. I'm gonna have to cut this down. Hopefully, I can cut a lot of digging out. Uh, so I hope this helps you out quite a bit. Uh, just why I was saying, like the mobile wash plant at the beginning, it's super cheap. You can get a ton of gold with it. It sets you up. You already have your big excavator, so when you start with the other wash plant, you don't need to buy that. Um, I'm stuck in the hole, and yeah, it's just a, it's a good, quick way to make some gold early on in the game. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the next episode. I didn't, we didn't even set up our lights yet. Uh, we might take out a loan and start working for the bigger wash plant. Um, I gotta price it out and everything. I'm also gonna reorganize everything it's it's quite a mess over here um oh the other thing i'm going to do i'm going to set up so we can run the magnetic separator and the wave table at the same time so we can right, right when the bucket comes out of here we'll just go right in the wave table and back and forth and that way there's no i don't have to wait twice but yeah i'm going to wrap this up and uh let me know in the comments guys what you what you think of this series so far if there's something you want me to try if there's something i missed if you know if there's anything questions uh just just let me know down below and uh I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.